Oh, hello there, Mr. Crow. Oh, that crow is eating an eyeball! Dude! Why am I saving you guys again? Hello, all you wonderful people! I am Booty Cat, and welcome back to another indie game spotlight with the game A Quiver of Crows. Now, small team of three people worked hard on this game, and after two and a half years, the game will finally be launched on October 19th, just in time for Halloween. Now, this is a twin stick shooter set in a grim world cursed by demons and ghouls. 360 degree twin stick shooter full of chaos. You can either play by yourself or you can go in co-op. Uh, there's upgradable weapons, bombs and shields, a unique environment and physics not common in this type of game. Now like I said guys, it's not out yet. It will be out October 19th. So if you like what you see in this video, do the developers a favor and head over to Steam. The link will be down in the description and follow the game and put it on your wish list and get ready for an awesome experience. All right guys, let's get started. So you play as a single crow, and from what I gathered from the first level, you have to free other caged crows, guarded by like these really <laughs> scary looking things. I don't really know what they are. Oh yeah, there's a portal. And so you go through these portals, uh, and you get a weapon, a new weapon each time. Fire weapon. So all you do is you rotate the right analog stick and that shoots. And I think if you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, the left mouse button is to shoot. These are the things I'm talking about. Look how freaky they are. They're like bird clams. Uh, clams with feathers, with teeth. All right, so we have to get the feathers on the, the, the dream catcher. Uh, I don't know if that's for every level, but at least for this one it is. It gets really hard, man. Especially when there's just tons of them coming after you. Uh, I don't know how hard it is to die. Like, I don't know what the health is like. I haven't died yet in this. You know, I only played this first level, so. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's not good. Okay, I could go in between these poles here. I couldn't go through the, the, the thick ones. Aha, here's another bird. Come on out, my friend. I love the music. Music is really great. And I, I like how the, 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 the firing from the bird, it, it, it just sounds like tweeting. You know, it's not like this, like, uh, repetitive gun sound. It's just, uh, what a bird would normally make. What is that thing right there? Can I shoot this dark cloud where they're spawning from or no? Doesn't seem like it. All right, well, moving on. Gotta find this last cage. I think it's down here. Ouch. 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 Okay, stop. Stop it. I wanna free my friend. Get away from me. Ouch. Okay, we got the last one. Ooh, and the fire goes away. All right, so let's go to this next portal over here. And hopefully we'll get a new weapon. Yes. Yes, we got three... Uh, beams. Well, not quite beams, but like triple, triple fire. We'll call it triple fire. Show map. Oh, nice. And it actually shows you where the enemies are too. That is really, really going to be helpful. I guess it depends on how big these maps are going to get. Wow, guys, two and a half years. Can you imagine working on a project for two and a half years and then seeing it come to life? Man, this game is super fun so far. I can see, oh my god, that one was huge. Did you see that guy? That dude was huge. All right, these guys, now I'm not even really scared of these little guys. Look at how big that one is. Oh, crap. If you get hit, you lose your ability, and you have to go get it again. I kind of want to test that out and see if I'm actually right. All right, so these, you can't really move through that part. All right, hold on. I'm going to let one of them hit me. Okay, so if they do hit you, you lose your ability. Oh, man. And and, and, and the plot thickens. Oh, my goodness, guys. Ah, this is so hard. Where's this? these other cages? Did I miss it? Oh, there's one down there. Okay, we got to go back down. Got to go back down. 
Can't believe we missed a friend. I'm coming, friend. Holy guacamole, Batman. Wow, we. Let's get our friend here. They don't even notice us down there. Ah, dang it. Yes, they do. All right, we got him. We got him. They just don't do the cutscenes now. Holy crap. We're about to die. You hear that, that heartbeat? This is not. Oh, this is not good. Where is the other cage? Ah, get away from me. They're so scary. Ah, uh, there's the other one. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh no, I died. All right, let's get these guys. Let's just kind of aim down. See if we can go like this and try to hit the cage and them. There we go. Ouch, stop it, you jerk. I hope we heal up after every level. Now, is it three? Oh no, no, there's only two feathers. So that means we only needed two cages. The fire, fire's gone. Let's go. Holy cow, look at that ability! Spe special attack. Oh! Okay. And it looks like we have to recharge our special ability by grabbing those, maybe? What are those? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Now, do we get caught in these? No, it doesn't look like we get caught in the windmill. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Yep, the black ones we do. Oh, there's a heart. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about the heart right now because we're not even hit yet. But maybe it'll follow us around. Ouch! Grab the heart now. Ouch! Hopefully I didn't just waste that, uh, that uh, ability recharge thing. I wonder if I can lead these dudes to the windmill and they just get all caught up in it. Ugh, stop it! Oh my gosh, there's more of those scary, uh, bony bird things. Come on out, my friend! Holy, ah, Ability! We got him. Oh my gosh. Ah, just go, just go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, they're firing like lasers. Get off of me! What is that, a soup can? Oh my gosh, we're dead. Look at them rip us to shreds! Oh my gosh, guys, come on! Have some dignity. Uh. All right, I had to waste my ability there. Man, it, it is, it's so unpredictable. Jeez, uh, man. Uh, get off me. Where is my friend? Can we just pause just to see where my friend is located? I can't believe I... You can't even get past this level, dude! Where is our other friend? That is the big question right now. Where is our other friend located? Okay, get off me. Nope, there, there's only one. There's only one friend. Now that we know that, guys, we save our one friend and we... Look at them! Look at them! You guys are freaking crazy! Anyway, we get that we get that one friend and we just go. Get our friend out of there. There he is. He's gone. All right, we're going. We're going. Nope, gotta get our ability back. Ooh, this is bad. Bad start. Bad start. Bad start. Bad start. Ugh. Nope. 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 Go. 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 Yes. Yes. We did it. Now they're going to eat us. But we did it. Oh my gosh, guys. Change weapons. Nice. That's what that means. So the triple shot. Whoa. Check that out. Oh, hello there, Mr. Crow. Oh, that crow is eating an eyeball. Dude. Why am I saving you guys again? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh, who's more evil? The crow's just hungry, guys. All right, now that I have this weapon, I'm feeling super confident. Whoa, maybe I'm not! Maybe I'm not! Okay, get the triple shot out. We need to look at our map really quick. I need a, I need a chance to just chill, though. All right, here we go, guys. 
Uh, we are located here. We saved our one friend, and we got the dude eating the eyeball. Oh, there's a friend down there? What? How did we get over there? Whoop! Uh, hey guys! Hey! Ouch! Okay. Here we go. Come on, friend. Got him out. Got him out. All right, we're gonna we are gonna go over in this direction and up here. Hop! Oh God, we got these guys. Oh, we just lost. We just lost our ability. All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, two feathers. Two feathers. Oh my gosh, guys, chill. All right, come on, friend. Come on out. All right, he's out. We got both feathers on the on the dream catcher. Now we are free to go to the other side, of that portal. We just need to go now. Get our heart. Get our heart. Ugh. Get off me. No. Bad. Bad. Where am I? Get off me. All right. Got crow number two out of its cage. We need our thing back. I'm saving my ability to where I really, really need it. Which is going to be in just a few seconds. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Okay, okay, here we go. This is where the real action starts. Here we go. Get off me. Go, just go, just go, just go. Whoo, guys, we did it. We're on the other side now, finally. All right, guys, this is gonna be the last round for this indie game spotlight. Please let me know if you wanna see some more. You gotta leave it down in the comments. Or you can hit that like button, or you can do both. Look at that, look at the weird little mosquito wasp things. I lost my ability, dude. Like my 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 uh, double double shot ability. That's bad. It's really bad. There it is. It's back. It's back. I wish I knew how many friends there were right away. Those wasp things are super tricksy. Super tricksy. Ah no. Stop it! Alright, hold on. Let me see how many feathers. One feather. One feather! No, three feathers. I'm sorry. Three feathers. There's three friends, and I'm about to die. I'm dead. Alright, one thing I really... Uh, I'm gonna, Since we're on our last little thing here, I'm going to say a few final notes on this game. Um, God, dude. The game mechanics are super smooth. I played a lot of twin-stick shooters. I like them a lot. I'm a big fan of, of the genre. Um, and some of them are really kind of hard to control and then you start getting mad at start blaming uh, The game mechanics and everything the game mechanics in this are super smooth. Uh, the graphics are super smooth uh, Everything responds really well and like it says in the in the description of this game There really are unique physics that you don't really see often in this type of game and I like the quality of having to um, not only fend for yourself, but free friends from these cages dead again uh, the music in this game is absolutely lovely, super haunting, um, oh my gosh, dude, these wasps. It's hauntingly beautiful, that's the only way I could really accurately describe it. Last but not least, I really like the artwork in this game. I really don't understand the story in its entirety yet, but I like where it's headed. I really do. Um, kind of like this world has been completely corrupted by evil and darkness. Uh, these crows come out and it's kind of up to them to save it maybe I don't really know dead again guys alright guys thank you so much for hanging out with me Buddha cat for another indie game spotlight with the game a quiver of crows so again guys I want to thank the developers for giving me the key uh, before its launch date to show all of you guys all you lovely patriots and viewers out there what this game is capable of I always do an honest playthrough and honest reviews and really there aren't many things that I don't like about this game I totally recommend it if you still aren't completely convinced I still recommend going down to the descriptions in the link and following them on on Steam and on Twitter uh, putting the game on it on your wish list maybe it'll go on sale the game will be launched October 19th and it will be priced at $14.99 US dollars if you guys like this video and you guys like this game and maybe want to see some more, please do me a favor and pull that like button for me because you know it means the world to me anyway while you're at it. If you haven't already, be a part of the fun and the community by pawing that subscribe button and becoming an official Patriot. Until
until next time, I am Booty Cat, and I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.